Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name's Kate. We are currently in my library and in today's video I'm going to unbox my 2023 personal planner. Let's do it. Okay, so this is from Kamrobi. I'm not sure. I will leave the name of the company at the bottom of the screen. Um, they are a luxe planner company. I believe they're based in Australia. Yeah, New South Wales. There we go. So let's have a look. We've got some nice packaging. Do love me some good packaging. Nicely wrapped. Here we go. It's so pretty. Uh, I love when they come in this really nice box. Now this is the weekly planner. I was going to get the daily planner. I couldn't remember which one I ordered to be honest with you. Yeah, weekly planner in the black poppy. Let's wait till this cut goes past. Let's open it up and have a look inside, shall we? So... I need my little box opener. Okay. Now, I've tried multiple different planners. If you are a regular on this channel, you know that I've tried the Happy Planner, I've tried bullet journaling, I've tried um, doing it digitally. I've tried it on Notion and it just doesn't work for me. I like to have things laid out in front of me. I like the tactile sensation of writing. And of course, I love the aesthetics of journals. So digital did not work. The Happy Planner, I don't like the ring binding on the side and I find there's so many limitations to it. It just doesn't work for me. And in terms of bullet journaling, Sometimes I just don't have time to sit down and draw lines uh, or connect dots. So one of these planners, which is going to be really my social media planner, um, hopefully will help me this year. We will test it out, but let's have a look. So you are getting my first impressions. So thank you for your purchase. And there's also a 15% off enter a giveaway and then we have this beautiful black um tissue paper and here is the journal look at it isn't it beautiful okay so first look i didn't realize that it was like a cardboard sort of material that is completely fine i have no qualms with that i love the poppy design we've got the open poppy and the opening poppies there we've got a beautiful script of 2023 we have these beautiful gold um edges not edges i don't know what they're called what are they called corners corners oh my god kate can do you not know what things are anyway uh we've got uh, 2023 on the spine so you can leave it like laid up that would be very cute and then we have the poppy on the back and then the cover art let's open her up so first we've got beautiful white poppies here um, there is little bees in this I will bring it up closer to you so you can have a look that is a really nice design I like how the corner um, metal is quite pressed in it doesn't look like it's going to come up which is quite nice okay we've got the first page and then we've got some kingfishers by the looks of things and then we can write where the book belongs to and then we've got uh, we've got the yearly planner so we've got it all laid out and then we've got uh, more I believe going across here yeah so and then the dates down the side we've got Australian holidays more Australian holidays which is very nice 
New Zealand holidays because obviously you can get this in New Zealand as well. You've got the months laid out. I like the different ways that the months are laid out. It's quite easy to read then. And then we've got the master plan, the life goals, which I am going to fill out this year. I will just zoom you in a bit tighter so you can see. Hopefully you can see with the different light. Okay. I am doing this at like 6.30 at night, so I apologize if the lighting is not um, oh, wonderful. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we've got life goals. We've got career, three, five, and ten. Relationship, finance, health, family, and travel. Okay. It says at the top here, tip, create a picture of where you want to be in life ten years from now. Then work backwards and think about how you need, sorry, what you need to do in five years and in three years to get you to that long-term goal. That's a really good idea. Then we've got our first month. So some things that I really like about this on first sight. So first is we've got the previous month's calendar. We have the future month's calendar. We have the different spaces laid out with enough room to write significant things in or using icons. We've got notes down the side. And the paper quality is quite good. You can see a little bit of... Um, the writing underneath but that is completely fine just have to remember that when you're using a pen you're not using one that would bleed through then we have January goals we've got goal one two and three which obviously you would base off your three five and ten year goals then we've got steps to get there and then reflection upon that at the end I do like how this has a little notch out of it it's a cute little detail then we have budget tracker. Um, if I was to budget track my books, I'd need a lot more space. Like, really. Um, but good idea, especially if there's big bills coming up. And then we have the week. So this week um, continues from the end of December to January, which I, I really appreciate um, because I am a person who works social media really. Social media really? Is that even a word? I work social media on a Monday to Sunday basis. So this helps so, so much. We've got um, a beautiful quote. I wish to live a life that causes my soul to dance inside my body. That is beautiful. I really like that. And then we've got a to-do list down the side. So if I've got to, for example, um, take photos, you would write that down the side. If I have something coming up with a company, I'd write that down the side. And then we've got um, the different days of the week and then we've got sun icons and then moon icons. So you can actually do it as like a time of day. So for example, if I was to say on Monday morning, I'm going to do reading sprints, but on Friday afternoon, like afternoon is like kind of here, I'm assuming that's like my interpretation. Um, I would write like, you know, post going live or something like that. Then we've got a habit tracker. So if you want to track like water or posting or that kind of thing that's coming through. And then we've got the meal planner, which is quite good, to be honest. I like meal planning. And then it continues on for each month. Let's see what it looks like at the end of the month. So at the end of the month, we then have finishing up on the Sunday so Monday to Sunday and then we go into the next month and then it continues does the same thing so let's get the oh I like the ribbons so there's three ribbons that's really cool I like the three ribbons that's nice okay let's have a look at the back so once we get past the end of the year We've got a year in review. We've got a bucket list, so books to read, definitely need more space, places to visit and series to binge, and then wish list. We've got accounts and passwords. Amazing. Didn't know that was in here. Now I'm loving it even more. We've got travel plans and different destinations and why. We've got notes page. And then we've got bullet note page. And then it ends there. That's really cool. I like that. It's amazing. Anyway, so I'm going to put a ribbon at the month of the page. 
and then I'm going to do another ribbon on the actual date that we start. Ooh. Make sure that goes shiny satin that way. Yeah. And then where would you put the third ribbon? I don't know. Maybe notes in the back? Passwords? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. We might just put it in the back area. Just so it's easy to flip to the last bits of the year. Uh... Almost nearly 2023. That's scary. Oh, I think I've tangled them. I have tangled them. Would have been good if they were different colours, but I understand because this is very much a black planner. Oh, okay. That's that's a bit that's a bit hard to do. Maybe that one can go forward. Ribbon can go at the start of the month. There we go. Okay. This is the beautiful 2023 planner that I'm going to use. I'm going to endeavor to try and use it for the entire time period, not just switching and changing. Um, I will leave um, the company and the link of this planner down below for you. But I hope you have enjoyed this video. I will do a setup of it soon um, to show you how to set up a social media planner, but also things that are planned for next year. But yeah, remember people to like and subscribe. It does really support my channel. Um, I am so close to monetization and I'm hoping to do a giveaway once I hit that. So fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, thank you for joining me in my library today. I hope you visit again soon and hope to see you next time. Bye.